with Kimmy Drummond back again for your ski tip of the week with Sun from Sun Valley Snow Sport School. Hope you guys had a great week working on your side slipping and flexing your ankles and getting yourself balanced over your skis. Today we're going to talk about what happens with the upper body and our arms and the upper body lower body separation. The lower body starts from your femurs down. So you're just turning and rotating your legs, knees, ankles, and feet. The upper body is from your pelvis up. And that is what you want to keep with the line of gravity to help gravity work you down the hill. That you also, with your hands, you want to keep your hands up because that helps keep you forward. My tip of the week is always keep your hands in your eyesight. They're like little toddlers or teenage children where you don't want to lose them out of your eyesight at any time. Hopefully your upper body is moving down the hill so your whole core and upper body is moving with gravity. So when your hands are up in the proper position that helps keep your upper body forward and over the base of its skis where you want to be so you're in control of the skis. When your hands go back, you'll have a tendency to fall back behind your ski, and that gives <laughs> the large portion of your ski control where you wanna be over that portion of your ski for control. As far as another way of thinking about the upper body facing down the hill is think about your zipper facing in the direction of your turn. If your turn's a small turn, it will be straight down the hill. If your turn's a bigger turn, it will be more towards the corner of the hill. Always look up the hill before you go. Go with who you know. I got my eye on Sun Valley and I'll see you on the hill.